I was enjoying my summer of 1995, the month or a couple months before I would have started high school. Something just didn't feel right, and um, so I just kind of collapsed into the chair in our living room. Um, I, I couldn't feel my body and my head was, was getting hot and I just remember um, waking up in the hospital with my parents next to me and they were shaving my head. I guess they probably told me that I was having a stroke, but when you're 14, you don't really know what that means, um, let alone telling me that I was going to have brain surgery. It's hard. I had to relearn my numbers. I had to relearn my ABCs. Um, I had to relearn how to walk. I had to relearn how to go to the bathroom, how to brush my teeth, everything. Having the stroke and even after like recovering many, many months, just realized that Strokes can happen to anybody at any time. Our daughter was about to be born. I was about 38 weeks pregnant. And then I had another stroke. They just performed emergency C-section to take my daughter out and she was healthy. Woke up, couldn't feel the right side of me, but I have this little, little tiny baby now on my, my left side. I'm realizing that I only have one side to take care of this child, but it was a blessing. You have to wake up and you have to realize that you were blessed with the second life and you have to make the best with what you have. You can turn it around and see positivity every day in, in everything you do. So she roped me into running. That's how that all started actually. She started a program called Girls on the Run. All the parents got to run with their daughter. At that time I was using a cane to walk. So for her to cross the finish line holding the hand of another mother, and I said her next season, I am not missing this race for the life of me. And um, the next day, I literally, <laughs> I put my cane down, I threw it under the bed and I said, you know what, let's go. I just, I really am thankful to have a daughter like her to um, inspire me to be a better person. Any race that I had run, I would run with the bell. And uh, all the people that I was running with would know when to slow down because if this got lower and lower in sound, they knew that I was a lot further back and that they needed to slow down for me. <laughs> I forced my husband into running a marathon. It took me a good two years to train, but when we finished finally, we uh, renewed our vows at the finish line for our 10-year anniversary. There isn't anything in this world that I can't do, and I believe everybody in the world that has had a stroke, you, you can do anything you want to do, you just have to do it a little bit differently. It's just nice to be able to get my story out there because who knows what somebody else is suffering from or going through and I want to be able to inspire other people to just get back up and um, get back to their life. Because of all the education that people are getting uh, with the American Heart Association, we have been able to lower the significant amount of strokes that people are having. It's really important that we bring uh, more information about strokes out to the public because we need to make sure that people are understanding how important it is to get to a hospital uh, to potentially save your life.